And as I said, very good morning to you all and welcome to Crofts 2014 and a super main arena. And it's International Day today. I'm going to read you a few facts and figures as it's International Day. We've got 2,650 international entries at Crofts this year. That's over 500 up in previous years. 46 international junior handlers, which again is an increase in the arena this morning. We've just seen 21 international agility competitors in the arena, and they are fighting that out for a place in tonight's final. And now we've got nine international heel work to music handlers. But I say heel work to music, and of course, today it's called freestyle, because although we started heel work to music, and the generic name is heel work to music, of course, there are two divisions within it. We've had, on the first day, we had freestyle. Yesterday, we had Heelwork to Music. Today's freestyle. So we're just going to show you a small clip. And these are two examples of a freestyle and Heelwork to Music. In fact, we've got the winners for the f previous two days to show you on the screen now. Well, what a fantastic clip that is, and that really great two winners of previous days. I'm sure it's going to be great competition today, and very hard fought after, so we'll all be toe-tapping. I'm afraid I'm going to just spoil the atmosphere for just a moment before I introduce our judges. We are going to have a lot of people queuing up to come in, folks. If you're in a row, which I can see there's lots of you, where there are empty seats in the middle, this is the same in making the announcement during the competition. Would you like to move up and have the empty seats on the ends of the rows? Because otherwise, people are going to be fighting to get to them seats while this competition takes place. So let's just take a minute, folks, and if you can move along and fill the middle of the rows up first and leave the empty seats on the outside, Otherwise, you were going to have people climbing over you to get to those seats. But now the competition itself. Well, as with um, Dancing on Ice and Strictly Come Dancing, we have judges. So would you like to join me in welcoming in the judges now, please? Firstly, it's Penny Draper leading the crew, followed by Helen Taylor. And then in the rear there, Virginia Richardson. I think Helen Taylor is our senior judge. She's the lead judge. She will make any critical decisions if there's disagreement amongst the judges. And as you can see, we have three separate tables. Unlike the other two programmes I've mentioned, we don't let the judges sit together, so they cannot talk and compare notes, they have to just make their own decisions. So I think we're ready for our first handler. Is there anybody from France in today? Oh, we've got a few in. Amelia de la Cruz with Ria. Give her a big round of applause as she comes in the arena. <laughs> the dogs call combined away every door. It's a border collie. That's a four kennel club nine, a border collie. And it's a seven year old bitch. And the music she's performing to is Bad Romance by Lady Gaga. So immediately we're going up tempo.
What a great routine. And what a flying start to the competition. Well done. And that's what it's all about. That's freestyle for you. They can virtually do any move in freestyle, unlike heel work to music, where it's got to be two thirds based on heel work. Heel work being front, back, or either side. But a one third of it can be freestyle moves. With freestyle, you can almost do what you like, but obviously there are limitations, and limitations are, are dictated in the rules by what is good for the dog, because the dog is all important. I also have to say the emphasis in all routines must be on the dog. Secondary to that is the handler. So although handlers will dress in sympathy with the routine they're performing and the music they're using, obviously the emphasis has always got to be on the dog and what the dog is doing, because that is the important thing. It's not about a handler dancing around. And it's a very, it's a very interesting sport because although we love watching the routine out here, Everything in there is what you do with dog training. And, and I'll say this probably a few times as we go on. If you're interested in any of the activities here at Crofts, what you've got to do is go up to Hall 3 to the Activities Centre. Right, here we go. There's three sections there. Content. Our three judges have gone 8, 7, 3, 7, 8, 23.1. Each section's marked out of 10 folks. So that's their mark out of 10. 8, 2, 6, oh, low one there for interpretation. 6-8, and now there's any deductions, I'll come to the score sheet and explain a bit better next time. 23.17 for France and Amelie. <laughs> I don't know, how, I did say there was nine competitors in this when we started, and I'll just retract that because there are 11 competitors in it. But the good news for France, of course, is they've gone into the lead. Now, next is the arena, we've got the competitor representing the Netherlands. <laughs> Our good friends from the Netherlands, normally a lot of supporters here. Bridget Hutt is the name of the handler, and she's got a, pet, a dog with a pet name of Troy. It's a Border Collie, four years old. And the music she's using is uh, Two Steps From Hell, and the artist is Nero. Can I just mention, folks, that if you've got the back of the handler and you can't see what quite's going on, look at the screen, because the, the handlers are performing to the judges, because they're the ones making the decisions. So whenever she's ready, it'll be music maestro, please.
What a beautiful routine. Congratulations. Can I just tell you, folks, that this young lady is over only 17 years old and Troy is her first dog. Well done. You do get different styles of routines and obviously you get the ones that are a bit bebop a lula and you get ones that are very slow and a bit waltzy. And we even had one that's slow enough for me to call it a smoochy style. But it's all got to... It, 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 you can compare it directly with, uh, with dancing, really, on the type of music they use. And also, we have all kinds of different props, as you can see, some props going in there now. There are 10 marks available for each judge in each section, and they can mark up to that. We haven't had a 10 this, this year, yes, I don't think, but we have had some nines. So that can go up as far as 10 in each section, and they have to mark on each section within a, 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 a criteria. So sometimes we'll look at a routine and think, well, we like that, that's a great routine, but the judges might not agree. Oh, it looks like a good score here. Eight, eight, five and eight, two on content, 24.7. We got nines, eight, 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 and six. Two nines and 8.5, 25.8 for the Netherlands. Into the lead they go. So have we got anybody here from Denmark? <laughs> well done. Would you like to welcome in the arena Joanna Alanak with soda? <laughs> Pet name soda, the full name is Kojima e Physical Graffiti. It's a border collie, six-year-old border collie bitch. And it's the team's third time at Crofts. So there is Danish, Swedish, Norwegian and Nordic freestyle champion. So they are in actual fact well experienced. A little bit overawing in this big arena for the dogs. In fact, I think it's the, about the best arena in the world. Now, they're going to be performing to a medley from How to Train Your Dragon. Sounds interesting. And the artist is John Powell. So... Uh, over to you, and this is for Denmark. Well, give her a round of applause. She decided to withdraw. The dog's a little bit upset. For whatever reason, she's made the right decision, because as I've said earlier, the dog always comes first. So the fact she's withdrawn is probably all in, all thanks to her for taking the right decision. So just be a very small gap while we ensure we have the next competitor ready. We don't want to rush them too much. Don't forget, folks, we're on Channel 4 tonight and tomorrow night. I think tonight we go at 7 o'clock with all the highlights of the day and the main events of the evening out on Channel 4. And if you're not here... Tomorrow, you can, or later today, you can watch it all live on YouTube because Cruft's YouTube channel is up and running and getting a record number of hits. So lots to see on the internet and the TV about Cruft's. The biggest and best and most popular dog show in the world. 
and the amount of people in this arena actually tells us that is quite true as well. Can I just mention again, if you've got any empty seats in your rows, folks, can you just move up and have the empty ones on the end because they're going to be queuing people up to come in shortly and it's not fair really if there's empty seats that people can't get to them. So please try and keep the empty seats on the ends of your rows, please. Is there anybody here from Wales? Well, there's a, I see a few old dragons in the audience. <laughs> Claire Hitchens is here to represent Wales. Give me a round of applause. With Aira. The colour clock rain is Aira 3. It's a working sheepdog, five years old. And she's going to be performing to the Raiders March by John Williams. They thought they were going to have a Welsh international playing rugby in the family, but it appears that the dog's the first one in the family to be a Welsh international.
Well, what a tremendous routine. What a great performance for Wales. Well done, Claire. But I have to say a but, folks, without bringing us back down to earth, that was a tremendous routine and uh, thoroughly entertaining. But we've got three judges here who mark it to a criteria, and it's all about the technicalities, how many moves were in it, were they correct, were they well executed, did it fit the music? There's lots of things I'll be looking at, but I'll be very interested to see what scores come up there. We've got content, choreography, and everything got to be taken into account, and accuracy. Did, she, did the dog perform all the moves as they are supposed to be? And don't forget, Hill Works Music and Freestyle is about a set of taught tricks choreographed to music. So all these will be, will be taught in individual tricks, probably with a clicker, and I'll come to a little bit about that later. Individual tricks, and then it's all choreographed together to music. And obviously they don't use a clicker when they're working, but they have to also get the dog to understand the verbal command for each of the tricks. But that was really a great performance for Wales. I dare not say what's my favourite, because I'm the commentator, but certainly one of my favourites there. Let's see. Content, eight and a half, eight, eight. And eight, nine, 26.2, that's a good mark. Accuracy, eight, five, eight. Eight, five, only 25. Oh, we got a nine interpretation, nine. And 8.6, let's see what is, any deductions? Oh, gosh, we got deductions. That could have been for barking, for touching the dog. Oh, they've really gone hard on the, 23.37 in the second place. I did say, folks, that they, they are the judges, they are actually marking the technicalities. And if there was any barking or assisting the dog with the handler's hands or arms or legs, then they would have been faulted down for that. So that's where deductions and penalties come in. Right, we're on the next handler now. Is anybody here from Sweden? Yeah. Yes, we've got some up there. Give us a wave. Sandra. I think I'm going to apologise for the pronunciation on some of the surnames. Sandra Kajovic with Thyra. It's a golden retriever. Give her a round of applause as she comes in. A 10-year-old golden retriever bitch. The Cameron Glame is host Gladjan's a golden dream. Was a member of the Swedish national team in 2013 at the Open European Championships and they came second and won the Swedish National Championships in December. They're performing to a lifetime of war, and the artist, or the band, is Sabaton. So the music will go when she's ready. To waste your view the world so similar at times to waste to rule the world to justify their crimes Vikings and queens young men are sent to die in war their propaganda speaks those words been heard before to waste to view the world brought you down in flames to ways to rule as man gone insane and you will remain who find a way to live one more day through day days the war it spreads like disease there's no 
What a great routine for Germany. Well done. Or oh, Sweden, I should say. We'll wait and see what the, uh, the judges have got to say about that one in a few minutes when they've had a chance to think about it. And they have to look at so many things when they're judging. Quite a recent... In, what a recent uh, discovery here were to music. Although for many, many years handlers have trained with music playing, he actually only got on the road as a sport back in 1990 when a young lady called Mary Ray did a demonstration and at the behest of the guy who organised it, John Gilbert, she did a routine, some stunning music. And handlers went away, the, the spectators from that evening went away and said, Mary, you've been doing her work to music and that is where the name come from. It's now all over the world, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, America, throughout Europe. And as you can see, uh, certainly a very popular in Europe. Now, here we go. This is the results for Sweden. 8-8, eight, 8-6 eight, eight, and 8-5. That's a good content score, 25.9. We've got a 9 for accuracy there and 8.9. So that's very high for accuracy. And another nines there, interpretation. So that's going to be a good score. Any deductions? No. Looking good. 26.43. Into the lead goes Sweden. I've been asked to make another announcement about the seating. We've now got people queuing outside, so if you do have any spare seats in your rows, look, would you please move into them and keep the spare seats on the outside of the, uh, the st on the stairs end so that we can get people in who want to come and see what's happening in the arena. So there you go, there's the official bit, the health and safety announcement. Now our competitor from Germany, a dog's called Fox, and it's Lisa Jowemski. Give a big round of applause. And it's a crossbreed, and the kennel club name is One and Only Foxita. It's an eight-year-old bitch, and was a rescue dog, and very anxious of everything, she says. But clicker training and dog, do dog dancing soon helped her, and she's what today the at the world's largest dog show. Wow, she's a bit overcome herself, I think. It's a great opportunity for the dog. Gremlins Medley is the music, and uh, she's not sure of the artist, so Gremlins Medley. And we've got a gremlin in there now. So whenever you're ready.
What a great roof season. Well, I think we're all a little bit full down the, the end. That was, a, that was really a lovely end, a lovely routine. Congratulations to Lisa for Germany. Really lovely routine. What a lovely dog. Just see his hair. He's all spiky on the top. There you go. I wish I could... Somebody said to me, don't you wish you could do that with your hair? No, I don't want spiky hair, thank you. Um... She did say on a note that about clicker training, I have to say, folks, that um, virtually everyone, I can guarantee, it, all have trained their dogs with clicker training. And that is the modern way you train your dogs now. You don't force your dogs to do anything. They want to do it because they know they're going to click. And when they're going to click, they know they're going to get a treat. And that is the modern way of training. It all comes from uh, dolphin training in, in the USA. That's how it started and it's progressed into dogs, and it's been around for a few years now, and I can guarantee that's the way they taught the dog. You could not force a dog to do something like this against their will. If you want any information about dog training, I'll give you the details shortly. Now, let's see what uh, Germany had in marks. Eight, seven, eight, and eight. 23.8, followed by a 23 for accuracy. Interpretation, eight, eight, six. And date one, 24.7, that's a good mark. No deductions, 23.83. Into second place she goes. And again, it's all about, we're looking at it and marking it in our own minds for entertainment value. The judges, Mrs. Nasty, one, two, and three, are looking at it from a different point of view. They are looking at the actual regulations of, and the technicalities, that's what they're marking. We seem to have, well, that says platform two over there, and perhaps it's a Harry Potter thing, and they'll go towards it and disappear, I don't know. We'll just hang on a moment and see what's going to happen here. Is there anyone here from Scotland? It looks like we've gone back to the 1920s in Scotland. Now, Alex Salmon's not going to come into the arena, folks. You can stand easy. Would you like to welcome in, please, Heather Smith with Muddy? It's a beady collie, moonlight magic dancer. Not sure of the age, must have come from rescue. And as you, can, as you can tell, probably we're going back in the years a little bit because the, the music being used is called a Silent Movie. And it's come from a band called Nickelodeon. So, Heather and Maddie, it's over to you on platform two. <laughs>
Well, that's Eva Scotland then. What a great routine again from uh, Heather. Always puts together something different. Well done, Heather and Maddie. Give them a round of applause to leave the arena. That's for Scotland. I've been asked to remind you again, folks, don't forget any empty seats in the middle of your rows, please squeeze up. We've got a huge queue of people outside. So any spare seats, please squeeze into the middle and leave these empty ones on the outside. So the less fortunate people who want to come into the arena can actually uh, make it in. So we're just waiting for the results to come now for Scotland, which are just coming in. If you want to know anything about heel work to music or any activities, agility, working trials, obedience, the new sport of rally, obedience, go anything, go up into the activities centre up in Hall 3. All the experts are there on every dog training subject and they can offer you advice and give you a bit of an insight. Don't forget, you haven't got to have a pedigree dog to register it with the kennel club. You could be registered on the working register and be here very shortly working your dog. It's as simple as that. And we've got a 9.3 there from Helen Taylor. 8, 2, 9, 3, 8, 9, 26. That's a high score for Scotland. Accuracy, 25.7. We've got a 9 there. And interpretation of the music, we're in the 8th there, 25.5. But it's still going to be a high score. Oh, we've got 1.5 points of deduction and a 1. 25.03 into third place goes Scotland. Is there anybody here from England? Would you like to welcome in the arena the representative for England is Richard Curtis with Wizzy. He's crossbred bitch, but we think we know what it's crossed with, we can tell. And he's obviously cleaning windows today, because it's When I'm Cleaning Windows, one of the most famous songs in the country. And a winner of this year's freestyle competition. Music maestro, please, and when Richard's ready. Job that just suits me, a window cleaner you would be if you can see what I can see when I'm cleaning windows, honeymoon in couples too. You should see them bill and coo, you'd be surprised at things they do. When I'm cleaning windows in my profession, I'll work hard, but I'll never stop. I'll climb this blinking ladder till I get right to the top. The blushing bride, she looks divine. The bridegroom, he is doing fine. I'd rather have his job than mine. When I'm cleaning windows, the chambermaid, sweet names I call. It's a wonder I don't fall. My mind's not on my work at all. When I'm cleaning windows, I know a fella such a swell. He has a thirst that's plain to tell. I've seen him drink his bath as well. When I'm cleaning in windows
Richard Curtis and Wizzy. What a fabulous routine. So let's see what the judges say about that. That's a, someone shouted, we'd love you, Richard. Well, what a great routine for England. He won the, free, the freestyle competition on the first day with that routine and he's put a lot of work into it, as Richard always does with his routines. Now, what are the judges going to say? And we've got the results in. They're ready to go. And we just replayed a bit of it up on the screen. Right. Let's see. Oh, we're going to get a 10. We've got to wait and see what the judges say. Don't forget, oh, I have to say I'll temper that because of what they do. Nine off, nine off, nine and a half. What a brilliant score. Twenty eight point seven for England. Well, I don't think I need to ask. I think that's gone into the lead, folks. What a brilliant routine and what a brilliant representative for England. So we're moving on to Slovakia. Anybody in from Slovakia? Right, would you like to welcome into your now, Monica Oslova with uh, Assi. <laughs> Assi knows that Roy's was the dog and it's a Border Collie six years old. The music they're using is uh, Solomon Vandy stroke Michael Jackson and the band are Jason Newton Howard and Michael Jackson. So that is what they're using. And this is for Slovakia. This pair have been competing since 2010. So I think we're ready for the music when the handler signals.
think about um, the generations and to say we want to make it a better place for our children and our children's children so that they, 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 they know it's a better world for them and think they can make it a better place. There's a place in your heart And I know that it is love And a place much brighter than tomorrow And if you really try You'll find there's no need to cry In this place you feel there's no hurt or sorrow Give a big round of applause. What a clever routine. Well done to Monica from Slovakia. Very, very clever routine, that. Lots of content in it. That's why it's very difficult to mark as, as novices without seeing what the judges are doing. But on, on a really nice routine that was. Very well put together. And of us did two pieces of music there. Some handlers will go to tell a story. Richard, um, I know one might be saying, specialise in telling a story. Other handlers like to go for pop, some like to go for slow. Uh, and it's wh 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 which area you're comfortable in, I think, is uh, what you like to specialise in. If you look at the screen now, the way the dog's got the feet on the handler's feet, and just some of the moves it is so very clever to tell a story. So it'll be interesting to see how the judges mark this one for Slovakia. Don't forget to go up and see the Activities Centre in Hall 3 if you want inf any information on Hill Work to Music. We're now just starting to input the results. And we've just got another couple of dogs to go in this class now. Just two more dogs to work, and it's a good one. Content, a nine, a nine, five, and an eight, nine. Accuracy, nine, three, eight, seven, or a bit low, eight, seven, but another nine. This is in contention, folks. A 9-5, 9, five, nine and a 9-5. No deductions. What a great result for Slovakian Republic. 27.6 into second place. I, I, I really like that routine. Very, very cleverly put together. Now we've got the... Anybody in from the Czech Republic? Oh, we got some in. Some supporters. Vander Grigovova, would you like to come into the arena with Roxy? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh! The kennel, it's Roxy, the pet name of the dog, and Risa Orland is the full name. It's a two-hour, if you hadn't guessed. Eight-year-old bitch. And, well, I'm not, I dare to tell you what the music is going to be. It's a Tom and Jerry soundtrack by Scott Bradley.
Think about that then. Banda and Roxy from the Czech Republic. Give a big round of applause. And I have to say, folks, that was the Czech Republic's reserve dog. Heaven knows what the best dog would have been if that was the reserve who couldn't actually be with us. Just fantastic. And having two two hours in the family ourselves. I know what they like to train, and that was really, really something to get the dog to do that. That's really good. They're clever little dogs, but they have got a mind of their own. <laughs> That's brilliant. With the piece of cheese walking along. We love it. Anyway, there you go. One more dog to go in this competition. We're just waiting for the results to come through now for the two hours. Just keep watching the screen. Look at him. Now, what are the judges going to do here, for heaven's sake? This is such a tough class. I'll tell you, folks, you could only see this at Crufts. You wouldn't see a, a selection of routines like this anywhere else in the world. It's just absolutely brilliant. So let's see what the judges are doing now and how they're going to mark this. We've all got our favourites. I'm, I'm sure we, we've already picked out who we'd like to win. That's a good result on content. 8593826. Accuracy, 8887 and 84, 25.9. Interpretation, 8889, nearly a 9, not quite, and 84. No deductions. Give it a big round of applause. 26 into fourth place. In actual fact, no mean feat getting into fourth place with a field of competitors as we have here. So I'm sure the handler will be very, very pleased with that. And how difficult is it for the judges to mark it as well? They've got to discount all the applause they get and just get to the nitty gritty of what, what moves are in there, how accurate they were, and if they comply with what is expected. Anyway, the next handler is coming in. Have we got anybody in from Belgium? <laughs> yes, and we've got the Belgian flag as well. Would you like to welcome into the arena Jules O'Dwyer with Matisse? It's a Border Collie, seven years old. Last year's Crufts Freestyle winner has also won in Australia, Austria, Denmark and Prague. So very well known on the continent in the sport is Jules and very good at it as well. She's, uh, she's performing to a music mix by various artists.
The Belgian Jujo Gore of Matisse. Very, very clever. Great routine, that. And the judges have got the job of marking that. We've already got Richard Curtis in the lead with a very clever window cleaning routine. And now, where they're going to mark this, this is going to be a fight, I think between Belgium and England for the winning place. Both are previous winners of this competition, both for England and Belgium, so this is going to be a fight for first place now. I'm just waiting for the results to come up. They'll come in for the judges. This is the important bit. Here we go, and it's it's high. 9-3, 9-6, and 9-2. 28.1, more nines. Oh, we got eight there. Accuracy, 9.5. It's a 10. A 9.5, and a 9.8. No deductions. Who's going to get it? It's 28.4. Well, we're going to have a presentation next. We're just getting to get ourselves sorted out for the presentation. So I am pleased to announce it's presentation time. All the competitors lined up, but I'll tell you one of the most, I know it's hard for the competitors, folks, but it's doubly hard for the judges, because they have to decide sometimes against what we think visually should be the winning round, and even though they might enjoy it, they have to look at other things, and I'd like to thank our three judges for doing a magnificent job in the last three days, and we've got a little presentation for them, going to be presented by Gina Pink, who is our chief steward, for... Virginia Richardson for judging, Helen Taylor and Penny Draper. So thank you very much, judges, for the great job you've done. And we're just going to take those back off you very quickly now, because <laughs> it's the most important thing, it's a presentation of awards. And I'm hot off the press, I've got all the results here.
So the winner of the 2014 Crofts International Freestyle Final, and I have to say, first and second, it's by a whisper. It's it's um, was so close. The winner for England is Richard Curtis <laughs> on 28.7. In, in second pl place, and I love this routine as well. I don't know how the judges managed to separate them. It's a pity we couldn't have a joint first place, really. It's Jules O'Dwyer for Belgium. What a great routine. Very, very clever. Actually. Actually, I could say something about nearly all the routines. Another clever routine coming up. It's Monica for Slovakian Republic in third place. 27.6. In fourth place, it's Sandra for Sweden. In fifth place, it's Vanda for the Czech Republic. And sixth place is better for the Netherlands. In seventh place for Scotland is Heather. In eighth place for Germany is Lisa. I had a soft spot for the next routine as well. In ninth place for Wales is Claire. In 10th place for France, we've got Amelia. Well, we hope you enjoyed the freestyle you've seen. If you want to know anything about freestyle at all, it's up in all three. But we're going to ask the handlers now to give us a lap of honour around the arena. Give them all a huge round of applause, folks. Great, great show.